Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how to make a text dynamic types with a Swift project to have a font size depend on device. Also, you need to know that there is always a link to the source code in comments. Okay, let's start the project and as usual, I show you how will be our output. So you see here, uh, I have different fonts that all are, you know, have been sized depend of the device. So if I run this in, you know, bigger device, this uh, font's going to be bigger or smaller, going to be smaller. Okay, so uh, let's start the project. It's pretty easy uh, forward project so file new project and uh, we can name it uh, as a iOS Swift UI font text style and uh, say so yeah next uh, I'm gonna put it in Swift iOS uh, final Swift iOS directory oh it's made it with uh, objective C so let me close this one and remake it uh, so new project single view app so again iOS Swift UI font text style for example but you know here I uh, choose Swift we will make a video for Objective-C later but for now I want to do it with Swift okay so in uh, we'll go to main story world uh, right away and over there we need to make our labels so I make labor and uh, drop it here yeah I try to make it you know in some size like this and uh, just to give you idea I type name of the type uh, here in as a label so headline for this one then I'm gonna command C command V and I'm gonna make some other command V this gonna be body this gonna be Top headline and again command V this gonna be footnote and this gonna be caption one The last one gonna be caption caption two, not three two. Okay, so just to have it say uh, you know organized, I'm gonna select all of them and. Uh, editor embed in as a stack view but uh, you know it's gonna make all of it you know it's 
small. So for a stack view, I'm gonna say, okay, if this stack view make it to be horizontally and vertically at the middle, but also I'm gonna select this stack view and I'll say uh, for high, yeah, keep for, for uh, you know, this size and for wide, I make it something like 300. Okay, and so it's good that now we need to connect it to our controller. So I'll go to controller and start to connect it. Well, you know, this uh, labels one by one. So the first one gonna be head line label. Yeah, to make it faster, I'm gonna copy uh, copy of this and paste of it. But you know, you need to know when you make a copy paste. Uh, sometimes you copy something else as well, so you always need to uh, you know it's better to type. But just to speed up, I did that. And later we will check it out and find oh we copied some even connection as well. So line label for this one body label for this one food notes label yeah this label is wrong and for this one caption one label and for this one caption to label okay I'm gonna you know we need to connect it but uh, first I'll go to view controller I go to connection to see how is the connection status you will see we have only one of them connected yeah, headline so for this one you know you can connect the rest so sub headline well like this we don't need to control drag just drag and yeah so we connect all of them now we can close assistant uh, editor so now we can go to coding so in coding uh, I'm gonna make a function here so I just say function update fonts no parameter no return value but for body I just pick up one by one so headline label dot font equal UI font dot preferred phone for text style yes this one and here we just say UI font so we should say yes UI 
font text style dot head line it should offer it to me I don't know why it didn't so let's see yeah it's changed in the you know new yeah in the uh, Swift 4.2 it's changed to this and Swift 4 was uh, exactly like the uh, type so we, um, for this one change okay so I pick up the second one subhead label dot font equal u i font dot preferred and here as you see we use ui font but we say dot and text style and dot headline actually they make it in um uh, it's uh, you know much more organized yeah i'm gonna close this one to do the rest quickly so yeah body label dot font equal ui font dot preferred and ui font dot text style dot body yeah this one I forgot it should be sub headline okay so for the rest I'm gonna copy of this we have three more so the first one to the fourth one foot label caption one and caption two so the only things I need to change this one is the body you will say footnotes caption one and caption two there you go so we just need to call this in view did load so when we load our function we just say yes update phones yeah so you will see how easy we made it uh, you know I'm gonna run it to have it in uh, Actually, yes, I need to say, okay, run it for me on iPhone X uh, 8 Plus. So, yes, uh, which I have already opened. So, I'm going to run it now. And uh, here you will see that in my storyboard, I have all equal, same format. But here you will see after run. Uh, and... Uh, you will see we have a uh, different size for each of them uh, so it's make you your job easy for handling you know fonts being without being worried about it you know handling the size okay uh, that's it for today I hope you liked the video and uh, if you like it please make sure to give a thumbs up or just don't forget to subscribe for more video any question please ask and comment I will be more than happy to help and I wish the best for you have a good one bye bye